So the Mississippi votes were counted. Thad Cochran was the winner in the runoff against his Tea Party challenger, Chris McDaniel. But McDaniel says, no, I'm not ready to concede yet. He says he wants to have his legal team take a look. He thinks there were irregularities. What he's trying to say is he believes African-American voters illegally voted in the runoff. Listen to him here last night on the Mark Levin Show, not only saying I'm not ready to concede, but taking a shot at the Republican establishment. We have people there that are willing to sacrifice every principle in the world uh, for a little bit of power or, or the, the almighty dollar. It has to stop. There are others, including Rand Paul, Manu, who say it's good if more people vote. Uh, good for a Republican race to draw African-American voters, but Chris McDaniel's not ready to give up. No, he's not, and it will remains to be seen whether he actually does mount this legal challenge. There's still a lot of skepticism whether he could actually pull this off successfully if he does. And if he doesn't do that, what does he do? Does he do a write-in campaign, which could upset the balance here? But it really speaks to the larger uh, debate within the party about how do you broaden your brand and how do you reach out to new voters Roger Wicker, the Mississippi senator, told me yesterday very clearly, he said, we should be reaching out to Democrats. That's what we should do as a Republican Party, bar broaden our band. There's nothing wrong with that Cochran did, according to his supporters. Now, and it's the state with the highest percentage of African-American voters in the country. So you would think here's an opportunity for Republicans maybe to learn the lesson. Now, Thad Cochran had to go to these voters in a moment of need, but maybe he could start to build a relationship and maybe other Republicans could copy it, Julie. But then Rush Limbaugh weighs in, uh, this won't help. I wonder what the campaign slogan was in Mississippi the past couple days. Uncle Tom's for Thad? I, I'm, <laughs> any, anything I say will make it worse, but... Uh, that, that so you're going to throw it to me now. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> it's, just, it's just simply, if you find irregularities, fine. I, investigate them. You have that right after an election to look at things. But to say things like that and disparage people and... Forgive me, that's dancing. If, if that's not a racist statement, it's dancing right up to the line of it. How does that help anybody? It, it doesn't, and a lot of national Republicans just cringe when they see statements like that, when they see things like what McDaniel is saying, because this is a party, remember, after the 2012 election that said, we have to broaden the base. And now you have a race where they've managed to broaden the base for whatever reason, they've managed to do it, and they have this push and pull of, Maybe we actually don't want to broaden the base. It just sends a really mixed message. If you look at the national demographics, maybe they can win in House races. Maybe they can win in some Senate races. The Republicans will not be competitive at the presidential level until they improve their standing among non-white voters. And uh, Mr. Limbaugh is not helping the cause there.